What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna do a quick video right here in this area, switching out my inner arm lever for the Thrashin' Bagger Easy Shift inner arm lever. So comes in a cool box, very small item right here. It replaces this inner arm lever right here and it's supposed to reduce the amount of torque that it takes to shift this back to find neutral a little more easier. So I had some improvement when I put the solid linkage in. It's not the Thrasher or Thrashen um, linkage, but it's a Harley Davidson, but I like it because the edge cut and it kind of matches well. But opening up the box here real quick just to show you that there's not really much to it is you get a little lever right here and this is going to go right in this spot replacing this piece and then it comes with a little washer that is a spacer that's going to be right there and of course thrash and color instructions that cover just what you do take loosen this bolt loosen this bolt take this off take off your lever pull this whole piece out Lift this up, put the new one in, align it, stick it back in, tighten it up, tighten it up, readjust, reconnect it to this. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll give it a shot and um, then I'll take it out for a ride. I've got my GoPro mount right here that I'm gonna try to sync up my helmet cam with this one to try to see how many times I find neutral and how easy I do. Um, once it's all done and do a test and we'll give it a shot. So I'm gonna get this rearranged a little bit, get everything ready to go, and then uh, we'll get started. See you in a minute. All right, let's get started. So looking at directions, first thing they point out, see if I can show you, remove your linkage, remove the bottom bolt here to the inner arm, and then I'm thinking this will just pull out and I can leave this all attached. If not, then I'll have to take this off as well and put that in. What I did was I put a piece of tape right here just to kind of mark where this arm is. Don't know if it's gonna do any good or not, but I'm trying to minimize the amount of readjustment I have to do. I know I'm probably gonna to have to extend this out a little bit once I get it off or get it back on the new one um, so that it reaches because I think there's gonna be a difference in the arms. I think this guy's a little shorter and a little bit of a different angle or something, so we'll see how that turns out. But I measured from the bottom of my shifter peg down to here and it's two, and, two inches and one eighth. So I'm trying to just make it simple so I don't have to go through a big adjustment again because we all know it's a pain to get it right where you like it. So, all right, first thing, two seven sixteenths wrenches here. Got gloves on because these are sharp as always. So we'll get this started. So it has Loctite on it, so we'll see how easy it comes out. There's the nut. And this has a washer on it or a spacer for some of those. So if we drop that down, I'm just gonna set it there on the crank case. Put those two things over there. So that part's out. Then we have a hex bit with a 3 16 And that is what goes here. So we'll loosen this guy up. comes that bolt. I'll put some more Loctite on that before I put it back on. All right, so now those are free. And switch hands. Rock this guy. And out comes your shaft, shifter lever, and 
um, peg attached. Set this over here. And this just lifts out. And there you go. So now if we take a look at the two together, the thrashing and the stock. Trying to make this as easy to see here as possible. So that's the difference in comparison. It's a little bit shorter, slightly different angle. You can see if I put bottom to bottom, it's a little bit of a different angle right there. So we'll see how this works. All right, I'm gonna set that over there. Came with a thrashing supplied bolt. Put some Loctite on it. Let's start it. Oh, probably not. All right, so we're gonna put this in there. Grab our linkage or our lever spacer. Make sure that's all on there. And slide that in. I'm gonna try to hit my tape just to see if I can get it close. That looks too high, but we're gonna measure it just to make sure. Just gonna touch that tape. Yeah, way high. I'm sure I'm not gonna be right on with it, but I wanna to try to get as close as possible. Minimize my adjustment nightmares. I know, old school, but hey, it is what it is. All right, so this is now two and a quarter. I need two and an eighth. So I'm gonna see if I got enough spline to rock this down one more notch. Let's see where that shows up. Might have to use the linkage to do the adjustment for that. So that's touching there, yeah. I'm gonna have to adjust it in the linkage, but at least I'll get close. Pull this back out. Right there. I know it may seem silly, but Yeah, two and a quarter is about as best as it goes. So we'll push that in all the way, let that rest, and start this bolt in here. Snug it up too much, make sure you got it in there good. Okay. They do have a torque measurement on it. So the torque measurement for this one is 12 to 15 foot pounds and I'm sorry this is 12 to 15 foot pounds and six to seven foot pounds down the bottom one but you know okay so now we get this guy up here we take a look to see what our adjustment is so we'll see how lucky we get bring this up put it through here now this has a washer, which 
I guess we can put in there and let me take off my glove to get it out. <clears throat> it just, it's inset right there and I think it just flushes that up. So we'll stick it in there just so it's a flush. Like that. I'll put this in. Try not to slice my hand because I took my glove off. Not much thread on the back of that with that washer in there. So I'm going to take it out. There we go. Okay. So I didn't use the washer because I didn't have enough thread on the back side to put this nut back on, this acorn nut. So I'm going to put this guy on and get him started. And we'll go back with our 7 16 wrenches. Hold that one. Torque value. Okay. She's attached. Okay. Same play as I did before. Take this off now. I'm going to check my measurement on my peg, which is way off. to adjust it. It needs to go higher, which means this needs to suck in. There's, there's not enough thread left on that, so I'm going to have to do it on the peg here. And then we'll see if I've got to go the other route with it and then extend it depending on how close I can get. So it's two and a half, I need two and an eighth. So I can take this back off, spin this out and extend that out to try to get it to drop down where it's pretty good. But I'll probably try it first and see. a lot of space between my foot and my toe and the shifter. I like to feel it. Okay, so that's back in there. Check my measurement here again. Two and a half. Gotta go about that far down. <clears throat> Put my glove back on. And if you remember the way these linkages adjust, I'll show you in a second, but. Okay. Just gonna 
set that down. Then you take your 7 16 wrench, loosen up the bolt, loosen up the bolt. And then spin it out on this side, spin it out on this side, and I'm just going to measure it first to see how close we got. Well, that's almost right on. So we will take it in a little bit, maybe two turns. Pretty much right there, <clears throat> but just for grins, because I got it out, I'm gonna go one more turn with that. Give myself just a little bit more flex room on it, because it was a little snug when I initially set it, so there we go. All right, so that's where I want it to sit. So now you tighten the backing nuts back up on the linkage. Okay, that linkage is in place where I want it. This is in there. This is tight, that's tight, that's tight. Everything's good to go. Feels like it grabs it pretty easy. We'll have to tuck it out when we're ride net, but I definitely feel a lot less uh, torque, and there's neutral. That's second. Like that, so seems like it's gonna be pretty good. We'll uh, go out on a ride, check it out, see if I can get my camera to show it. Hit like five times. See how many times I can hit it, because don't have a very good Average, I'd say probably right now I hit it three times out of 10. So, but there you have it. Threshens, bagger, easy shift, inner arm lever. And uh, pretty simple, you know, just a little fine tuning there on the linkage once you get it in. And normally you'd probably be done a lot faster and working on it, but I wanted to try to get it zoned in, you know, to how I like it and all that, so. I think we're good to go. All right. I will get the test done and then we will uh, add it to this video and see what it looks like and go from there. So, all right, talk to you soon. Okay, so I couldn't find a good place to put the camera that didn't interfere with my turning radius or the shifting, but of the three times so far I've tried it, it hit it every time to neutral. And here I'm in a stop sign kick it up and into neutral right the right away. So I'm four for four so far. Pretty impressed with it. Definitely feel a difference in the torque or tension or resistance, I guess, that you have to use to get it up in between. And that's after going through a bunch of series of gear changes. So we will keep playing and trying and see what we can figure out. And I'll give it one more shot here at this next light if I hit it and uh, see how it goes. All right, so I'm probably not going to hit this light.
but I'll slow down. I'm in first. Up into neutral, just like that. Five for five. If we catch this one. Yep. All right, we'll give it one more shot. All right, coming to a stop. Let's see. Down in first gear. Right into neutral. Six out of six, so definitely a big difference. Pretty impressed with it. I can feel the resistance change in my foot. So I think that's a thumbs up for Thrashen's Easy Shift inner arm. So I just wanted to do a quick follow up on the shifter. So I took it out for a ride, and I gotta say, I tried it probably eight, nine, ten times and hit neutral every single time. So that Thrashen inner shift arm uh, definitely does a trick. There's a lot less resistance on the pedal. I can feel or on the peg. I can feel it going nice and easy. I found it every single time. Uh, I was really, really close on my adjustment. I think I gotta go up just a touch more, but my little method worked at least for me. So maybe that helps somebody out there that's trying to figure it out for themselves. But uh, all in all, great product. Uh, very happy with it. I think it's worth it. I think they did a great job designing it. It looks cool, matches all their other stuff. Aircraft grade aluminum, you know, made in the USA, uh, all that good stuff. So good job thrashing. Uh, I appreciate that and it made it a lot easier. And what can I say? Good to go. So hope this helps. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Any comments that you got and uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right, take care.